In the last video, I gave you the overview of what's happening when I go live, before I go live and after I go live. Now let's dive into the real specifics of that workflow. And stay tuned because I got the template for you too. Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne Heimann with AskEV.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And if you're ready to streamline your business to skyrocket your sales, you are perfect right here on my channel. So you make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And in this series, I'm talking about live streaming, making live streaming easier, making sure you're not forgetting any steps in between and being able to outsource too. And as you know, to be able to outsource, you really have to have your workflows down. So let's look at that workflow. You probably have seen my marketing space before in the other videos. Today, we are looking specifically just in my ATD and TT, which is my Tech Thursday live that is going to be coming up next year. And we are really just going to be focusing on this specific piece of this workspace. As you can see, we already have a couple of things scheduled out. The live show um, Automate to Dominate is scheduled out till the end of the year. We're skipping a couple holidays. So we have three more people coming up with some amazing topics. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when we go live right here on YouTube. Little plug right there. As you can see, Rob's show, that was the one that was actually running last week as of the recording. And it is back in my corner because I now have to make it a blog post. But what happens before all of this? So let's look into Stephanie's live show that is coming up. As you can see right here, my VA is going to write a lot of this one because I am really specific on what I want to talk with Stephanie about how we can use NLP to really talk to our audience and make life easier. Having said that, Usually what we have is my live show guests, they choose their preferred time, which slot of the live show they want, which day. It's always the same time. It's always the same day. And they get scheduled through my scheduler because that way I don't have to worry about them getting reminders. They get reminders through my scheduling software um, two weeks in advance, one week in advance, a day in advance, and I think half an hour. Set that up once, don't have to worry about it. They are also submitting their information through an Airtable form into an Airtable base. Now, for next year, we are actually changing this up to make those submissions a ClickUp form and take that information and moving it straight in here rather than the Airtable base. But that's where we started. Now that ClickUp actually has the spreadsheet view and the table layout, we don't need it anymore. Let's get rid of it. See, you are even already knowing more than my VA does right now. So, Kitty, if you're watching the video, we need to work on updating that. <laughs> now on the task itself, what's happening before the live show? The first step is the actual live show prep. That is where my VA goes in. I have the link set up in here, the link for the Facebook bot to subscribe because it needs to be in the description. The two links for where people can watch, we drive them back to Facebook or we drive them to YouTube or web. YouTube or web, actually because I am embedding the YouTube live stream in my website, that's why YouTube and web is a link on my website. You can watch it right there. That also makes it easy to send people over there because it's literally just askev.com forward slash live. Easy to remember, easy to do. Now we need the show description. We need three social media posts that we can go send out on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and we have one short one on Thursday morning right before the show. One of those I also use as a template for an email newsletter that goes out that says, hey, we're going live today. Come join and enter the giveaway. I then need to schedule the live show through Restream. 
Facebook unluckily only allows us seven days in advance. So we have everything ready the Thursday before the live show and then scheduling happens on the Friday before. As you can see, those two dates are already set up. They're embedded with the template. I pull this template in and it's done. Then updating the Facebook Messenger bot. As I've mentioned in the last video, I am running Kelly Noble Mirabella's Baby Gut Bot Facebook Live Chat Bot. We are handing out the show notes. You can just grab those. You can sign up for the giveaway and you can win something if we have a giveaway in the show by commenting on the live show in Facebook or following a link. So even with multi-streaming, there is two ways that you can sign up with that, but all of that needs to be updated. The link for the live show notes need to be updated. The information in the bot needs to be updated to the new guest and all of that stuff. That's what happens in here. And then we go live. It's all scheduled to this point. Everything is happening. We are live and we are done. Now what? Once we are done with the live, I need to grab that YouTube video, take the show description, take out the whole date stuff and when we are going live and that kind of thing and make it a blog post. I'm not making a big hash about it. I want people to watch it and really connect with my guests and not read the whole thing. So I really just take the description on what are you getting out of this and then go watch the show. Adding the links to it, adding the show notes to it, that kind of thing is happening right there. And then evergreen micro content, meaning I wanna keep driving traffic to this and if you have more time than I have right now, you even can take small snippets out of those videos. When your guests throw a knowledge bomb at you, take that out of the video and make it a short 30 second or 50 second video snippet. You know, the ones you see with the text on top and the text on the bottom, that's what's happening right there. And that's pretty much it. That's our workflow on how we streamline our live show from start to finish. And the nice thing is with having this template ready to go, having the due dates in there, you know when things are due, you know when things have to happen and you literally just have cool new guest. let's throw it in there, let's apply the template and be done. You even can do an automation with that. I'm gonna go over to Zapier and see how we automated just a bit of this. Let's do that. Now in Zapier, here is a pro tip. When you start automating things, things will get overwhelming really fast. If you look at my home, there is so many unused automations right now, it's just crazy. So what you were using, sort them, build folders so you can find the specific automation you are looking for faster than having to scroll through everything. So in this automation, it's actually a really, really simple automation. What it does is it takes in your booking in my scheduler, find all the data, the standard Zapier stuff, we then filter it only by the automate to dominate live appointment. So only if one of my guests schedules or I schedule one of my guests through the scheduler is when this automation actually triggers. And then it creates a task in ClickUp. That's it. So it pulls that information, the name and the show name, plugs it into ClickUp as a task and done. That simple. Now, once a task is built right here in the automate to dominate list, I can have an automation that says, okay, new task is created. Now let's apply the live show template and get it in here. Done. That means my guests schedule themselves or I schedule them. It triggers the Zapier to generate the task in ClickUp. And then ClickUp has the automation of applying the live show template and I never done anything. I only might have scheduled them through my scheduler and that was it. Everything else happened automatically. Isn't that nice? Now imagine I'm only doing a live show every other week right now with guests. The guest management is one of the most painful things. And we do have a video on this one. So if you want to deep dive deeper into how to better manage your guests and not have to run after them for all the information, we do have a video on that one. So go watch that. 
But isn't that nice where you are hands off and even if you would do multiple guests at multiple times a week, it just works. But you do have to put the work in and you have to build it. And just like me, at times when things change, you gotta overhaul them and you gotta polish the stuff up. But just, just imagine the time you're saving. If you're still around, make sure Check the description because we got a challenge coming up in January where I help you set all of this up. You will get help, you will learn all the ins and outs, you will learn all the nitty gritty. So go join the Bulletproof Live Streaming Challenge right below. And have you subscribed yet? Hit the bell? Not really? You wanna learn more though, right? So go hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video or my guests go live with me on my channel. I'll see you there.